All right, Coach, coming down to the final week of regular season play. Last weekend, a couple of five-setters on the road. Start with that victory at Middle Tennessee. What did you like? Oh, I liked everything about it. It was a great competition. Uh, Middle Tennessee is a great atmosphere to play in. We actually had some fans with Amir Alexander's entire family coming out to cheer us on. Um, had some fans that drove the distance to cheer us on as well and some parents. So we had a good contingent and some good emotional support. And we just came out and served really tough and, and ball handled very, very well. And it was nice to get in and get out of there with a five-setter. Who stood out in that Friday match? Gosh, you know, everybody did so many things right, but you know, I had to credit Brittany. She's just, we've just riding her coattails this last couple of seasons, a couple of matches. She's just been playing phenomenal. Um, she's really done some things to implement a faster offense and uh, we've given her kind of carte blanche to, to, to run things the way she wants to and uh, she's embraced our system. And so I've just seen a lot of high level play out of her and our outside hitters and you know, Anna Henderson's leading the conference in blocking. And when you can stop a ball at the net, um, you have a good chance of winning. Sunday, Southern Miss had the rematch with them and just came so close again before losing in five. What did you like and take away from Sunday's match? Um, I liked that we competed. It was senior night there. Uh, they had five seniors. They brought out all their guns against us and we played very well. Um, we've had some slips and some setbacks on offense, but defensively we passed and played, uh, had great ball control. And I like our stick to it um, It just came down to, we put ourselves in a situation to win. Um, got to that, you know, ever so critical championship points in the last five points in the fifth set. And I think their emotion and their senior leadership kind of took it home for them. So, um, you know, it was bittersweet because we knew we really needed that one uh, to give us an edge up. But we played well and we're playing championship volleyball late in the season. I have to imagine going into last week of regular season play, you're still in it. That's where you want to be. Now it's in your hands. Win a couple of times and go to the conference tournament. We start with Florida Atlantic on Thursday night. What do we do to beat the Owls? Yeah, you know, the Owls and uh, their, their, their coaching staff is, is really pulling things together. They've had four really tough matches and, and are not really having earned a couple wins. So we want to take advantage of the fact that they might be a little bit down and uh, really go after their outsides who really had a great stellar performance against us while we were in Florida. And, uh, you know, we just really have to play great defense and, and stop the ball at the net like we've been doing very well. Saturday, senior night, Brittany, Sarah, and Michelle will be playing their final home matches against FIU. Could very well mean a, a lot, a lot on the line. Talk about the Panthers on Saturday. Yeah, they're tough. You know, they also have won, lost four of the last five, actually. So, um, you know, they're kind of limping around towards the end of the season. And we're playing good volleyball, so I think it's going to be a battle. Um, it'll be an emotional night for a senior night. Um, while coaching, you've been through this so many times, but it's great to see your seniors playing at a high level, and we're going to miss Sarah and Brittany and Michelle, but they have a chance to leave a stellar foundation. They've already left a legacy um, in playing, and so we're just looking at going out and fighting really hard and jumping out on them and, and keeping the things that we do uh, at a high level.